guys, uh, thank you for coming to my channel again. It's a quite offensive to our today, guys. I'll just like uh, just to share much more about uh, previous past that I had. Basically, uh, how I learned how to trade forex. Basically, I'm just gonna be in more detail so that you guys may can be able to understand where I came from and the obstacles that I m managed to overcome, and also how I managed to. Uh, break certain boundaries and also learn some of the things such as setting goals and also overcoming your psychology and also mastering the risk management. So basically what uh, uh, is the most important is you need to understand that it is your journey. You are your only competitor. Never uh, never be in, in a pool of sharks because uh, if you're still a fish, you understand? If you see that you are a fish in that... Uh, uh, pool of sharks make sure you can survive you understand don't just uh, wish to be a shark where else you don't know what, what it takes to be a shark do more research first you understand learn to survive as a fish in a shark pound in a shark pond you understand so what uh, I mean by that is uh, when when I started uh, to learn how to do forex trading actually i think i've attended like two courses yes two south african courses so basically what really happened is that the first one that i learned uh, i went to a free seminar it was held in Centen, and then that's when uh, i got a bit more information what happens in the chat as i mentioned that before then i only knew that forex trading is all about buying and selling but i didn't know what to do when to do it you understand so i just got much more information but you, you need to understand that the information i got there basically was much uh, too much theory than the practical part so basically what i'm trying to say is that i i learned the little that i did from that institute but uh what really made me become successful is what i put in in the work and what really uh was worrying me is that certain uh certain institutions they 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 they, they tend to not understand that Whenever people try to join the forex industry, they start with small accounts. So basically, most of the information they'll give you is information related to their big accounts. You understand? You cannot uh, uh, be able to tutor and mentor someone with uh, a big account if you never started with a with a small account. That's what I believe. You understand? I I I, I managed to be able to overcome that step hence when we have mem new members in forex heroes we're able to take them step by step because i'm able to start a challenge start a ten dollar account start a hundred dollar account just to be in the shoes of those people to show them how you can manage risk management you understand because uh the first course that i did what you you will be shown it's only when the trade is in profit you understand you were only told about mcd divisions when the mcd crosses you buy when they make the crosses from this area you sell you understand so basically that's not really what i wanted i didn't want to trade uh with with indicators but at that point i didn't know i was just using indicators and find that they are delayed you understand and you with a small account you cannot be able to hold the retracement and those guys with big accounts they are able to hold the retracement until it comes back and then they know that whenever it retains with them they keep on entering trades but you without knowledge of risk management you keep you 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 blow your account so that's one of the things that i had to include in the forex heroes cause because i noticed that many uh, institutions don't focus on the psychological part goal setting and risk management of trading they only focus on the strategy and they forget certain things that can make you collapse you understand things that come in the background before you can be able to you can master the psychology but those things they will at most cripple your trading career because you have the skill but you don't know how to risk you don't know how to apply your psychology you don't know how to set your goals you don't know how to set your targets it's very much vital that you need to understand how you set realistic goals you understand you cannot start trading and say okay i'm gonna buy uh, a porsche in six months you, understand? you need to take baby steps make sure you build up your account make sure you build your capital you understand if you want your trade your trading account to grow you must not withdraw it compound it grow it as much as you'll be able to increase lot size because now the risk uh, becomes less the, the risk is still the same but your lot size increases you understand for instance you you 
you convert a hundred dollar into a five hundred dollar the same ten percent on a hundred dollars is not the same as a uh, ten percent on a five hundred dollar so back uh to 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 when we started that's when i realized that we are not getting much support yes we, we used to attend mentorships in Centen, but there was not uh much support because what i really uh, realized with with, with 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 that is that there is mentors but the mentors take different strategies you understand so you come to this mentorship this week there's a different mentor and then a mentor for this week and then the following week is b mentor he's giving you certain information you understand and then then the following week the c mentor is also giving a different information so basically i think that is what uh, was really confusing me at that point because we have different people trading different things you understand this one is a scalper this one is a swing trader this one is a fundamental trader you understand so basically uh, at that point uh, i was really looking to be a technical trader that's what i asked i didn't want a technical trading. i just said i want to because what they explain to us is that uh, there's one that focuses on the chart and one that focuses on the news you understand so basically as a technical you focus on both you are aware of the news but you trade your setups on the chart you understand it was not explained in detail in a much better way then a um, couple months down the line i saw a specific uh, course the, the, there was a certain uh, institute uh, institute of young uh, traders it was uh, very much uh, famous in south africa and then what, what what really caught my attention there is that most of the members they were trading small accounts and they were able to escalate them triple them quadruple them you understand starting an account with hundred dollars and making a thousand dollars that's that's really what i was looking in, into because at that point that they didn't have uh ten thousand ten thousand dollars lying around just to put into a trading account you understand actually uh, i was just having uh, as much as thousand to to five thousand so i could be able to manage uh and pay for that cause i think that cost was about five thousand years yeah it was five thousand it was a four day cost so basically with in that cause i didn't come in as a beginner you understand hence i say i've put in too much work i've put too much research and before me attending that course i had read this book naked uh naked forex i finished that book i think it's 500 and something pages i finished that book and i also researched research again about the rain uh, also read the ultimate candlestick so basically i was just getting too much uh information to grasp and be able to understand what is really for trading, what is really happening in this industry and then i went to that course the course was a four-day course it comprised of uh the strategy and the theory part but what they didn't take in was the psychology and the risk management you understand so basically they, they were they were only focusing more on giving us the the the, the strategy but then the certain things we we had to uh figure them out ourselves we understand from the start yes we understood i think uh, uh i only started taking notes from the third day you understand monday tuesday basically things that i knew things that i've been teaching myself from youtube and free telegram channels online and also the internet you understand so just like this channel i'm giving you guys information many people are learning from this and they are able to be able to learn and understand other obstacles that they are facing so basically what i understood uh, i started taking notes from the third day yes i think that that the third day that's when they were starting with the strategy their strategy that's when they showed us how to analyze from higher time frame and also take uh trades on a four hour chart you understand so basically uh that also was just the what also a bit of a challenge because uh yes i craft the knowledge but then it came became a challenge because now you are starting with a hundred dollar account and then um you put your your trend lines on uh daily and then you also uh put your 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 trend lines like 
trend line also on four hour the challenge now became now they were also using an indicator rsi so basically you need to communicate with your rsi from higher time frame you understand so basically sometimes you tend to see the market retracing with you you understand that's the challenge that made me uh blow a lot of accounts because i will enter a trade at that point it, uh, it was just a, a matter of circular I'll enter a trade and then hold it you understand until the tp or i didn't know what is um trade management like moving in your trade into stop loss zero zero break even and also keep on moving it as it creates um lower, lower highs you understand so as you're going down you know that uh it's creating lower highs so basically uh that was my challenge and also with within that group after the fourth day yes the fourth day it, it was a question and answer each and every time we had the sessions and then we the, there was a mentorship group opened but then the mentorship opened was basically the mentorship via whatsapp so you understand there was never an online session whereby we can be able to ask questions so a person would just send analysis on whatsapp so basically uh what i i think should have been done was just to have an online session via uh zoom meeting things like that you understand hence i've, I've learned to to just uh put in the the things that i was i was struggling with things that i wanted to to uh get involved in 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 that forex trading uh company that i i, I paid to, to to that's why it's involved in my zoom in, in my forex heroes you understand i've seen how many people struggle so basically within that group it uh, most of the traders they were not beginners i think the beginners they were just um out of i think we were in a group of 20 yes 20 maybe you'll we'll say 70 percent of, of them were, were actually traders 30 percent were just new people you understand so basically uh, I ended up uh, within that group. I ended up. We ended up communicating with people before we we we, we left for that course. We we'll talked to those people and also uh, exchange numbers. So basically, in that group, I, I I've seen that uh, there were certain members, and then we kept on on posting analysis. My good friend, who's also my friend at the moment, we we actually uh, connected from there from that group, which is Lisiba Mutupi. We kept on sending analysis in the group. So basically, uh, he, he saw that, okay, this person is committed. Okay, then he approached me. He approached me, messaged me privately, said, hey, dude, I think uh, we must meet up and then uh, we can talk more about the analysis. So basically, uh, then we exchanged numbers. Then we kept on communicating because the group was not that active. Other people were not uh, playing a part. We're not asking questions because I believe you learn more by asking questions. You understand? So if you are stagnant, you are quiet, and you're just waiting for other people to send their analysis, you you are actually delaying your learning phase. You understand? You need to be able to ask questions so that you understand. One thing I believe in life, there will never and there is never a stupid questions. That's what led me to this day. Now I kept on asking questions, asking questions, asking questions. So basically, what really happened night was we exchanged numbers me and Lisiba and then we started communicating there and that's when uh we we, we had one-on-one -on -one sessions we kept on visiting each other and then we'll, this weekend you'll visit me and then we we'll analyze the market at my place and then next weekend i'll visit him we'll analyze the market at his place so basically it tends to uh evolved our level of clarity of the market and also trying to discover much more things and the third course that i enrolled for was a course from international so basically the what that course helped me be able to cover and be able to understand it was not a course basically about forex trading only or forex trading strategy basically it's about the the, the preparing your mind before forex goal setting psychology of forex you understand that's where i learned the psychology the risk management before you take a trade you need to be able to understand how much you're willing to lose you understand don't think about the rewards before you think about the risk risk comes first before you think about the rewards so basically what that cause really helped me be able to understand that this is a business it's not a get rich quick scheme you need to be able to use your profits and be able to use them with something else so what i really understood is that 
you need to be consistent with the craft that you're using. That's when I started to take forex trading serious now. And that's when I started to see that, okay, this is actually a career. I can make a career out of this if I stay consistent because this guy uh, shares his journey. You understand? As much as I'm sharing my journey with you guys, shares his journey because some people, you just see them as good traders, but you never know the obstacles they, they, they overcame. They, they are never transparent with the risks they took they are never transparent with other things that you will ask them to they won't give you a straightforward and so this guy was just transparent making sure that you are ready psychologically you understand even you as a beginner you will be able to understand and connect with me because i share my journey I also show you guys and I also be able to start a new account a new small account as little as hundred dollars trade because i believe many people uh uh, starting with small accounts and you also must understand every master was once a student that was a student before you understand so basically i have students in my group and some of them are masters they've graduated now they want to trade so what really happened is that being in that in that uh membership of the of that company i ended up making research i ended ended up making um research about losses risk management you understand basically i could able to understand because what i what uh, the mentor that we had advises is in overseas international they regard a small account as little as thousand dollars you understand which is fifteen thousand rents in south africa it's a lot of money so basically as we regard a small account as hundred dollars which is one thousand five hundred so you can see the different challenge because why he advised people to start with a thousand dollars the secret with forex trading is how long can you stay in the game you understand because you don't want you to start a hundred dollar account and then one week down the line you blow the account at least with a thousand dollars you are able to try try keep on trying keep on trying until you master strategy and also you're getting mentorship so basically what it really helps it tends to introduce you and makes you adapt to that but yeah, what we, we teach at forex heroes is you studying a small account and also middle account and also a bigger account you understand with thousand dollar account and also ten thousand accounts with the strategies that we have i've combined everything so with the information that i have you are able to apply the knowledge the theory and the practical combine it together so basically um my 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 weekly sessions with Lisiwa Mutubi never stopped because we kept on sharing information we kept on uh if this one finds me information we send it to the other one uh even the naked forex uh not for forex book i remember this one time i sent it to him he said oh i have, i have this book you understand so we kept on sharing information exchanging information so that because we wanted to become better traders we wanted to become better in uh, better versions of ourselves so that's what we invested in this craft and also what we really managed to understand is forex trading is not a get rich quick you need to put in the work that's why we put in the work and with that being said we ended up uh what is it getting the, the, the right information and also we shared it amongst each other and we started building ourselves and personally uh, at this point i'm able to assist the rest of the members with the information that i have i've grasped enough information so basically with that goal setting uh, missions and the visions that i had uh, i managed to understand uh, and be able to beat the, the, the those goals and crush them because in the past i was just looking at forex trading as just getting in making money get out you understand because we've seen many traders and many other females traders because what they, they they were really selling they was really selling their lifestyle so basically what we thought is is, is basically that this is not a business this is like gambling you understand this is like a casino you're getting you gamble you get out you understand so they they never introduced it as a line of business or as a, as a line of career because you can see even in south africa many people they only uh, look at forex traders they look at their cars their lifestyle the way their way of life they don't look at the, the motive behind it the moral you understand they don't they, they're only chasing the lifestyle you understand if someone buys a hundred thousand dollar car that with you can must come with their motivation but you must not align yourself with with that uh mindset or envying that life you must be inspired but not envy it you understand you must be inspired by it and make sure that you can also be able to achieve such because what really happens you are 
envying that person or you want that life because sometimes what happens is that people they don't treat forex the same some will look at it as a get rich quick some look at it as a, as a gambling some look at it as a business if you look at it as a business you look at the long term you look at goal setting you look at risk management you look at how you can build a business model within forex trading how you can start other businesses with the forex uh profits how you can buy your family things with your profits how you can travel the world with the forex profit you look at a business model you plan your life accordingly you understand not uh you trading without a plan you just wake up and say you've made profit of ten thousand dollars you don't know what to do if you don't know what to do sit down draft a plan do a mind map see what you can do what business you can start or basically how you can reward yourself or your family you understand look at plan don't just get money and just make decisions within uh, a click of a button no it doesn't work like that because what's gonna happen whenever you 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 get funds you you will be leaving a hand to mouth you make money you eat it you make money you eat it you make money you eat it you understand it's not gonna work like that at least have different accounts have accounts for your bills month to month bills have an investment account and also you can have an account which you just used for uh, petty things like emergencies you understand you know that these two accounts you know to be drawn but this one is your month to month account so you have three accounts so you know that the way you are trading you are able to swing on an investment account and you are scalping on these two accounts you understand because you want to withdraw weekly or you want to withdraw every two weeks or you want to withdraw at the end of the month because you want to use those funds you understand relying on one account it certainly uh, gives a certain uh, uh, division in your mind that you are, you, are, you are using this account for day to day, you are using this account as an investment, you are using this account to, to want to pay rent, you want to, you understand, you will end up stressing and stretching the account, you understand, you end up over leveraging and blowing that account, so, but if you have three accounts, you know that your risk management is in place, you understand, so you know that even if you blow your day to day, you still have your investment account because you are risking it accordingly. You understand so basically that will certainly help you having three types of accounts so basically that really helped me in, in, in the long run because i've seen many traders come into the game and uh six months one year later they are they're out of the game but you can see that they've made a lot of money but then they were using the money hand to mouth they were making a lot of money then a lot of money was coming out at the same time they were not investing they were not reinvesting in their career in their trading because you must understand you will you, you learn every day you understand so the information that you get you end up buying extra information online so that i can be able to share with my members because you must understand that you you tend to evolve all the time the market as evolves you also need some new information you go into the chart you spot something new you go and research about it you understand so basically with that being said what i would like to say is that i've i've, I've overcame the struggles and also i believe in you that you will overcome the struggles don't just look at it as a get rich quick scheme we've seen the obstacles coming from 2017 and also engaging with other traders and community with my good friend Lisiva Mutupi is also still my friend we still communicate and we still do the analysis we still look back at the times and say you remember that time we were doing this and this we are struggling with this look now we are able to to spot we are able to to analyze the market within five minutes because I remember we used to spend like four hours analyzing the market but then now you just look at the market in a plain chart you just look okay this is going down or this is going up without even doing anything we just look at we can see our chart patterns we can see our candlestick formation so we are able to see the market uh, from the same eyes same direction same view you understand so that really helps us to be able to to adapt to their market conditions so basically what i really advise you is also uh network with other people who are in the same field it really really helped me because i had someone who was just uh, pushing me as much as i was pushing him the information sharing information you understand because what really happens is that sometimes you feel that you are you're depressed you're tired or you can't do anything then you get a call from a good friend and say no i'm coming to to visit you I'm coming with my laptop we'll do a chat analysis so basically that really 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 helps Thank you for tuning in guys please do not forget to click the notification button i enjoyed sharing my knowledge and my struggles and how i started to learn how to trade in 2017 with you guys it was not overnight hard work was put in all efforts are worth it 
I'm happy, I'm delighted today as much as I will share the information with you. I'm glad I didn't give up. Please click the link below so that you can check the Forex Heroes 2.0 and be able to get the Forex Heroes course you've been looking for. This is the only Forex education you've been looking for. You'll get psychology, you get risk management, you'll be able to get goal setting, you get everything in the course two in one. Thank you for tuning in. Click the subscribe button, guys, so that you can be able to see much more of my videos. Don't miss out. Thank you. Share it with your friends and family. See you in the next video.